Never in Oregon's history has there been so many divers in one place. September 24th was the first annual scuba fest in Newport's Uquina Bay. Divers from all over the state showed up to take part in the activities. They started early in the morning with a spearfishing contest. A charter took divers out to the reefs just south of Newport. When divers go fishing, they rarely get skunked, and this trip was no exception. Guy DeTorres from Eugene took first prize by coming up with this monster, a 32-pound lingcod. Well, when we hit him, we hit him right on the head, and it, it stunned him. But the spear didn't go in, so when he rolled over, we just poked him underneath, put the shaft all the way through, and held on. Once he came to, it took two of us to hold him down. They're very powerful fish, very powerful. And we just held on to him and then brought him up to the surface a little bit at a time. Once we got him up top, he settled down a bit. So like the fish is pretty good out there. We've always got fish in Newport. Never been skunked out here at all. Guy was the clear winner of the contest. Along with his fish, he takes home a brand new spear gun. There were other tests of scuba skill. Fin racing, not as easy as it looks. Neither was this. You've heard of three-legged racing. Well, this is three-fin racing. And what would a dive festival be without a breath-holding contest? Who does it for three minutes and 45 seconds? <laughs> One minute. <laughs> Who's the fish? <laughs> the fish is Steve Johnson, and it wasn't quite that long, only three minutes and 41 seconds. If it's any consolation, Steve is a free diver. He goes down without a tank, so he'd better be able to hold his breath. Dive shop owners from all over the state pitched in brand new scuba gear as awards. The grand prize was a dry suit, every diver's dream. All it took to win was the right raffle ticket, only you had to dive for it. The man with the magic touch is former NBA superstar Lonnie Shelton. He helped us seed an area off Newport South Jetty with golf balls. For every one the divers found, they got another raffle ticket. Unfortunately, knee problems forced Lonnie to give up basketball. But on the positive side, his injuries are what started him in diving. Well, Lonnie, uh, how long have you been diving now? About four years. And what, what uh, originally started you into diving? Well, I was rehabilitating my, my knee from surgery and doing a lot of swimming and just um, having friends involved in diving just got me interested. Did it uh, help your knee out at all? Yes, it's uh, it's good exercise. It doesn't put, doesn't put the trauma on you that running does and other exercises. Now the problem facing Lonnie is finding the right equipment. When you're six, eight and a half and 290 pounds, manufacturers just don't have your size. So where does a guy this big find a wetsuit that fits? Uh, I haven't yet. <laughs> no, um, I had to have it specially made. I was measured up for it. And, uh, but now the thing is the dry suits, and I'm hoping to have one of those made up there. They're a lot more comfortable, and you can be cool in that. <laughs> and what size of boots, though, are they going to put on that dry suit for you? Well, they're going to have to be at least 15, you know. <laughs> That's what size of them. 15s. With over 100 divers digging around in the silt, the water gets murky fast, but there was treasure to be had if you just knew where to look. Organizers for the first annual scuba fest got everything they wanted. Good weather, calm water, a big turnout, and hopefully more interest in diving on the Oregon coast. We started off on the premise that we wanted to create di more diving activities for Oregon divers, and we wanted to introduce more uh, divers to the Oregon coast. Uh, we, um, the dive shops in the state of Oregon are working very hard to, to, uh, to uh, get divers exposed to the Oregon coast. We have some of the finest coast diving uh, anywhere in the world, and uh, it's just waiting to be had. Yeah, what kind of people showed up for Scuba Fest? Uh, we had a good representation of the entire state. Uh, all the divers turned out from Eugene, uh, Springfield, Portland, uh, Corvallis, Salem. We had a fantastic showing of divers from all over the state. Uh, we were extremely pleased.
What about uh, Scuba Fest uh, 1989? Do you have any plans for that next year? Uh, believe it or not, the, the, uh, the plans for uh, Scuba Fest 89 started two months ago. And uh, believe me, with the success of 88, uh, 89 can't be anything but better. And it will be. There's talk of Scuba Fest 89 hosting the first annual Oregon Coast 150, a 150-mile race from Seaside to Newport using inflatables like these. Before Scuba Fest came to a close, I thought I'd better put the best to the test. Going head-to-head -head with a group of Oregon's most experienced divers, John Cheeseman, Roman Street, myself, and Dan Bunch, for pros like us, three minutes and 41 seconds, no problem. Okay, so I lost, but that's why we wear tanks, so you don't have to hold your breath. For the Oregon Coast Show, this is Kim Johns.